In this video, we continue our discussion on logistic regression by looking at a simple way to compute predicted probabilities given various values of a parameter. So um, let's look at the Chow data. And uh, remember, recall that there's two types of lenses that were used in this study, a spherical lens and an aspherical lens. And in the spherical lens group, there we identified two groups of subjects, ones that had good myopia control, they have zeros, and one with poor myopia control, they are ones. So we have two groups. This is uh, the situation we would say if we want to predict which group you're going to be in and whether you have good or poor control, we're going to call it... Uh, We, we can use this variable. And so in order to do that, we need to first select cases, and we want to do it with a lens type equals zero. And because that's the fixed parameter, it's these guys over here. And then um, we also want to split the file because we know that eyes were measured multiple eyes were measured from individuals and we know that uh, eyes from the same people are not independent observations. So basically we're going to replicate our study once for the left eye and once for the right eye and then we can uh, compare our, our two outcomes. So let's uh, do this and um, So let's do our regression. We have analyze, regression, binary. We have lens type two, that's our good fit or poor fit. We're going to look and see if we can uh, look at the predictive values for E value. This is the eccentricity. And ultimately we're gonna to want to look at the cutoff. Where's the 50th percentile cutoff for E value? And the way we do this is we're going to save predicted probabilities. And it's, I mean, it's basically uh, solving the equation, the final equation for everyone individually. We could do this by hand, one at a time, or in Excel, do the solve the equation and, and get the answer, and that would work too. But uh, this is a nice, quick way of doing it. And so we continue. And if we come down here, we have our equation for the left and the right eye. We see that eccentricity was significant in both, and we have uh, these two coefficients, which are similar, not identical, though. Um, why don't we... First of all, let's look at a graph. We'll do a scatter plot, a simple scatter plot. And we'll look at predicted probabilities. That's the, uh, our, our program just computed this column. We have E value. We'll set our markers by lens type two. And then, uh, Let's look and see what we get. Now we get a curse for the left and right eye because we split the file. And if we look over here, the y-axis is the probability that a person is in one group or the other. And uh, we can double click on this. We can give a, a horizontal axis or a horizontal line with uh, at 0.5. And we can also do a vertical line, also at 0.5, or whatever. Um, actually, we, wanted, we want to do the, vert the vertical line at the point where it crosses there. And that's kind of, uh, that, that will basically tell us our 50th percentile. And 
you'll notice that this gave us that. Well, I changed it a little. Four nine. Um, we don't want that line. We want the first line that came out, which was around four or five or something. That's the point at which it crosses. You know, it would be really nice to know where that line crosses exactly without having to rely on this graph to plot it out and hope that it pops up with the right answer. And the way we do that is we can calculate it. So um, there is a formula, handy little formula. The logit, we know that our, our logistic regression is the logit of p over 1 minus p, that's the log of p over 1 minus p. The logit is the log of p over 1 minus p equals this linear function a plus bx. Just like our regression, we've made a continuous variable out of our binary variable by taking the log of p over 1 minus p. And at the 50th percentile, we just solve for that. And so p is 0.5, so 0.5 over 0.5 is 1, and the log of 1 is 0. And so 0 equals a plus bx, and so you solve for x, and x equals minus a over b. And so uh, we can do that with our, our equation. So let's just be kind of lazy. And uh, come in here, close that out. Come up to our variables. Let's right click and copy them. The solution to the equation. Let's go to Excel. Pop this in here. <clears throat> and what we get is a, uh, a constant. And remember, our formula was. x equals minus a over b, where a is the intercept and b is the slope. So x equals minus the constant divided by the slope. And 0.45191 is the 50th percentile. And as we see, that's about what we got in our picture down here. So it's a simple little equation that gives you the answer. If you had a multiple regression format, you'd have to fill in if, let's say, you had um, HVID or spherical equivalents and you wanted to know E value. Well, you would have to, most likely, you might take the average spherical equivalent across your sample, the average HVID across your sample, fill in, multiply them times their constant, and just build up this constant with those other terms that you fix the values for, and then you solve for E again. So you end up, again, with one formula, but uh, one, one set of numbers, just uh, the, the E value slope in the denominator and the constant being that accumulation, that sum of all those other variables plus the constant. So that's how we solve probability in logistic regression.